I'm excited to be able to come on with the top prospects in 2024. Liam McNeely, what's going on today, bro? Hey, bro, nothing. How are you? Pretty good, man. Well, you're part 2024. Haven't gotten to high school yet, but you're coming in now with multiple offers. What's it feel like to be in the position you're at right now? Man, it's very exciting. I'm very blessed. Um, just have to use my popularity for good. Absolutely, man. Let's just kind of break down some of the schools. The, one of them is TCU, one of the most recent ones. What's it like? What do you like about that program? Uh, TCU. My grandpa actually went to TCU, so he really likes that school. It's close to home. Um, he'd be very happy if I went there. You mentioned the key part, close to home. What kind of impact will that have down the road? Do you want to stay somewhere near home? Well, I've thought about this actually very hard, but it doesn't really matter in junior high. Yeah. <laughs> but my grandpa has really helped me, like, become the basketball player I am. So I kind of want him to be able to watch when he gets older. That's awesome, man. Another one is Oklahoma, somewhat close to Texas, but it's a big-time school, another Big 12 school. What do you like about them? I actually liked what that coach, Pooh Williams, had to say. He was very nice, and we had a great conversation on the phone. I have family up in Oklahoma, so that would be very cool to, like, kind of travel but not be that far from home but still a family. And both those schools I mentioned are Big 12 schools. To potentially play in the Big 12 someday, what would that mean to you? Man, it's, it'd be a dream. It'd be a dream. Absolutely, man. Your first offer with Georgia Tech, a big-time offer for your very first one. Just take us to that offer. What was it like getting that offer? <sighs> I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. So I got the call, and he just said he wanted to offer me a scholarship, and I was blown away. I didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. So I was very blessed. And what was your first reaction to it? I mean, who did you tell first after you got the offer? I was actually sitting there with my mom, so she mm -hmm. was the first person to know. But then I told my grandpa, and he was very excited. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, you talk a lot about your grandpa now. Just how close are you guys? What's it been like having him in your life? Oh, man. He lives literally two minutes away from my house. Um, he's been one of the biggest parts of my life. Been big-time role model. He's what I look up to be. Absolutely, man. That's awesome. And, I mean, talking about AAU, a lot of guys haven't got back on the court yet. You have. Just what if you like to get back on the court and start playing again? I mean, I miss it. I miss it. It's mm -hmm. my favorite thing to do. So just trying to stay safe. And once everybody does, then we can get back to playing consistently. And a couple of games you have got back, what, what are those games like? Um, it's actually my team has been playing up because there's not a lot of big-time national tournaments because nobody wants to travel. Mm -hmm. So my team has been playing up a couple of years in local tournaments and doing very well. I've and, also been playing with my high school team mm -hmm. in some local tournaments. And just to get the chemistry was very, very good. And because of how you've been playing as well, some of these offers have been coming in. I mean, obviously, you've worked on a lot of stuff during quarantine. What would you say were the biggest things you focused in on while you were at home in quarantine? Um, I really worked on, like, trying to get bigger and gaining weight, trying to get stronger. So I started lifting – Started working out every day, sh shooting every day, skills every day. Just keep grinding. And you mentioned your high school team. You have chosen player J.J. Pierce. What went into that decision? Um, it's just I've grown up in this neighborhood. Um, I really like the community. I've grown up with my friends. I'll go to high school with my friends. Um, the coach, his name is Mark Johnson. He coached Drew Timmy. Drew Timmy is now at Gonzaga doing very well. Mm -hmm. So I know he's a good coach, and he'll – do good things with me and the team. And so you are coming in now as a freshman that has a high profile. A lot of people know and have high expectations for you. How do you kind of plan to go in there and lead a team and just be one of those top players for your freshman season? Well, I always got to stay humble. So I'm just trying to keep my head down, be a leader, of course, be vocal, be very vocal. Um, don't get too nervous when I'm playing. I like to stay confident but not cocky. Absolutely, man. That's something a lot of guys take a long time to learn, just being able to stay humble and not cocky. Who kind of instilled that, that kind of mentality in you? My mom. My mom. She, she's one of the most humble people I know. She's a single mom, made her own company. It's very 
inspirational. And she's given me everything I have. She's not boasted about it at all. That's awesome, man. Just talk about your guys' bond. How close are you guys? What's it been like just having her in your life as you've gone through this journey now? Well, she played basketball at Rice University, so she's a baller. <laughs> so she taught me basketball as well as my grandpa. And it's, we're very close, very close. She comes to everything. She's always a part of it. She always wants to help. It's, it's great. And having basketball kind of run in your family, what's that been like, just being part of having just basketball with your mom and you? I'd be the fourth generation to go D1. My great-grandfather was D1. My grandfather was D1. My mom and both my uncles were D1. So it would be pretty cool if I could keep up the chain. Have you guys ever had some family games when you guys get together? Not really. I mean, I used to play my mom 1v1, but she can't beat me anymore. <laughs> Without a doubt, man. And, I mean, you come in, as I said, this freshman season. What's some of your goals? What's some of your expectations for this freshman season? Um, so, we are in a district with Richardson High School, and they have the duo of Kaysen and Ryland. So, I, I believe we can beat them. So, that's the goal. Just come out number one, beat Richardson, and make it to the state championship. And those are two guys that are obviously stars of Texas, but also stars across the country, two top-ranked guys. When you see that, those are guys that you probably want to be like down the road. How do you kind of look to become one of the next stars in Texas? Um, you know, just stay humble. Get wait for high school. Just keep working every day as hard as you can. Um, yeah. And you mentioned those two guys. How excited are you be able to go up against them and kind of also learn from them when you go up against them? Well, it'll be really cool playing against Ryland because I've known him since I was in the third grade. His little brother is on my team, my AAU team, so I've known Ryland most of my life. So it'll be very fun and competitive to play against him. And That's then awesome. Kate is just a phenomenal athlete, great defender. Let's go back to your Drive Nation team a little bit. There's a lot of talent on that team. Just top of the team, what's it like playing with those guys? Man, it's – I just – we bonded – as soon as the team was made, team, as soon as the team was merged together, we just bonded. We're all friends. It's just like a family. Without a doubt, man. And as you go through high school now, obviously you're going to be growing into becoming a star player. What's some of your big goals you have set for yourself over the next four years? Um, well, of course, make it to the state championship and bring one back to the city. Mm -hmm. um, of course, McDonald's All-American. Um, freshman incomer of the year, all, the, all those awards. But I want to start four years. I hope to stay healthy, not get hurt. It'll be very exciting. And you being the caliber player you are, I can imagine over the next couple of years, some of the big national schools will start reaching out to you. Is going to one of those schools something you might consider down the road? I mean, of course, like those blue bloods, and watch them. Since I could, since I can remember, and it'd be crazy to even talk to one of those coaches. Mm -hmm. Good dream, I'm sure. And for you, are there any of those schools you've heard might have some interest in you, but I've yet to give the offer at this point? I have heard these these schools have not given me offers, but they've talked to me. Mm -hmm. Stanford, Purdue, and SMU. And all three of those are big time schools. One of those, Stanford. Also just landed a lot of top players in the past few months, Zaire Williams, as well as Esau Silva. What do you like about Stanford? Um, I mean, it's a great academic school, and I care a lot about academics. I'm a straight-A student. It'd be great to go to a school with great academics and a great basketball program. And for you, that obviously would be going out to California. Popping, going, leaving home, being on the West Coast, what would that be like? I mean, if I had to leave home and – I'd love it to be California. I love California. It's a great state. Is that your favorite state? You've been to like club tournaments and stuff? Um, yeah, I think it is. Without a doubt, man. And as you continue to get more and more offers, coaches start talking to you more and more. How do you look to kind of balance what you get done on the court as well as dealing with the coaching, dealing with all the media? Um, I mean, just – like I've been saying, just keep my head down. I don't really media that much. I have Instagram and Twitter, but I mean, I'd rather 
keep my head down and focus on me than focus on what everybody else is doing. Let's keep no working hard and grinding. And being in Texas, it is one of the best, not the best state for basketball. What's it like playing out there? DFW, especially mm-hmm. best basketball city, best basketball county there is in America. Um, the competition's great. It's all super fun, especially my class. My class in DFW, stacked up. And let's talk about your 2024 class in general. I mean, both in the DFW in Texas and just nationally, what's it like being a part of 2024? It's special. I think our class is going to do some big things. It's going to surprise a lot of people. I think we'll be all over the media when we're older. Cool. Absolutely. My final thing before I let you go is you also want to build a legacy for yourself with what you achieve on the court as well as off of it. By the time you walk away from the game someday, what do you want that legacy to be? Well, of course I want to be known as a great basketball player, but I also want to be known as more than just a basketball player that was inspirational to younger kids in my community, um, helped out when the community needed help. It's, yeah. And would you say there's maybe a dream about wanting to build something or do something in your community once you do go make it to the league and be able to have financial money to be able to do something? And I've definitely come back to my high school and renovated some. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, I definitely appreciate you taking time to come on again, my guy, and can't wait to see what God got next for you, bro. Thank you. Fun to be here. Absolutely, man. You're always welcome on, bro. God bless. Thank you.